These teachers made us want to get to class on time. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 sexiest male teachers in movies and TV. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the male teachers who made us hope for a little one-on-one -on -one detention. We're only counting teachers themselves, so coaches, counselors, or other extracurricular school staff won't be included. Number 10, Max Medina, Gilmore Girls. Lorelai, it's Max, Medina, Max Medina. Educated, classy, and with a boyish charm that had us falling all over ourselves, this English teacher has the whole package. As adept with instructing his pupils as he was with handling his love life outside the classroom, there's little Max can't handle. Navigating high-intensity Chilton parents is no big deal when you're as calm, cool, and collected as Max is. Okay, okay, you need to calm down now. Switching between the Shakespearean expert to the nervous, ring-shopping boyfriend, his good nature and good looks made him one of the biggest heartthrobs to ever touch a textbook. Why didn't this relationship work out again? But I want to get her something she's really going to like, not just something that she tells me she likes, but she really hates. Number 9, John Pressman, Admission. It's John Pressman from uh, the New Quest School in Keene, New Hampshire. Teachers are some of the most important people in our lives, especially when they care as much about their students as John Pressman. The overseer of an unconventional high school, Pressman isn't afraid to get his hands dirty when it comes to getting his students into a top university. Kind, caring, and patient, the easygoing attitude of this teacher made him equal parts entertaining and easy to get along with. Do you think you have room for one more in your life? We were touched by the concern he showed for his adopted son. And who doesn't love a man who's got his family priorities in order? I'm screwing it up. Am I screwing it up? Number 8. Seth Branson, Scream. Thank you. With a jawline that could cut steel and a smoldering smirk to match, the English teacher from Lakewood High made studying the classics a little more enjoyable. Smooth, suave, and quick-witted, Branson's mixture of mystery and charm makes him both a character to lust after and one to suspect as the man behind the mask. Looking for something, Mr. B? We're all looking for something, Brooke. Making even the dullest subjects sound sexier, Branson has a gift for livening up his classroom by simply cracking a grin. As for his secret affair with one of his students, a little creepy, but we'll overlook it for the sake of those cheekbones. Number 7, Will Schuster, Glee. They were encouraged to take the shortcut by Lanford Hastings, who had never taken the journey with wagons. Sure, it helps that this Spanish-turned-history teacher has got some crazy good looks. But what really makes him a hunk is his heart of gold and unshakable morals. Always looking out for his pupils, Mr. Shu makes sure every student under his care knows their worth. He puts passion into everything he does, from his leadership in the Glee Club to his relationships at home, never doing anything halfway. This marriage works because you don't feel good about yourself. This marriage works because I love you. That kind of drive and caring really makes the heart flutter. And don't even get us started on those puppy dog eyes. I don't want my legacy as a teacher to be conjugated verbs and glee club trophies. I want to help them love themselves for who they are. Number six, Alaric Rick Saltzman. The Vampire Diaries. Good morning, everyone. Forget the vampires. The latest craze is Vampire Hunters. After taking up a position as a history teacher at the Mystic Falls High School, Alaric Saltzman charmed his way into his students' good books through his sense of humor, smarts, and, of course, those knee-weakening good looks. Thank you for everything. Uh, you can thank me tomorrow and the day after that. Ah, oh, dude, come on, I knew you were listening. Well-educated and devoted to his friends and family, Rick is easy to love. Whether he's wielding a steak shotgun and hunting vampires, or spending some time in front of a lecture hall, he manages to stay dreamy without even trying. Actually, I believe that particular quote is found in chapter three. Number five, Scott Delacourt, bad teacher. It's good to know there's still some actual educators out there. If you're looking for a man who's all smiles and doesn't seem to know what a bad mood is, Scott's your guy. Boyishly handsome and with an infectious grin, Mr. Delacourt unknowingly has his female coworkers plotting how to snag him for themselves. Oh, hey there. Scott Delacourt, and you are? 
bubbly, enthusiastic about his job, and, of course, the fact that he's Justin Timberlake, we're not surprised that he has the staff room in a love-struck mess. So maybe the jean-on-jean dry-humping was a little strange, but hey, for that much body contact with him? We don't blame Cameron Diaz's character for taking what she can get. Your jeans feel so good against my jeans. <sighs> totally. Number four, Sam Coulson, never been kissed. I don't think we've met. I'm, I'm Sam Coulson. Uh, the school has this thing about letting you guys call me Sam. The quiet, hunky English teacher who swoops in last minute to save the day will always get a spot on our list. Though we can all agree that Drew Barrymore's performance as an undercover student crushing on Coulson was a little off, his calm, gentle way with words, and good head on his shoulders made it hard for us to blame her. I, I hope this doesn't undermine my position as an authority figure, but uh, I'm a little afraid of heights. <laughs> With surfer boy blonde hair and a killer bashful grin, Coulson's ability to give confidence to those who lacked it made us feel all warm and fuzzy inside. A man who could recite Shakespeare to you and also teach you how to kiss, now that's a dream come true. Been building up inside of me for Number three, Ezra Fitz, Pretty Little Liars. For those of you who are ahead and can't get enough of doomed romance, um, pick up East of Eden for extra credit. With pep in his step and a smirk that could stop traffic, Mr. Fitz has sparks flying whenever he so much as looks in someone's direction. The definition of tall, dark, and handsome, the English teacher steals the show whenever he's in front of the classroom, with his way with words and smoldering eyes. Surrounded by mystery, that only makes him more seductive. I think it's time we address the issue, don't you? The way Ezra flirts with his students may be wrong, but his charm and sex appeal is undeniable. If liking him is wrong, we don't want to be right. Looks outstanding. Number two, Indiana Jones, also known as Henry Jones Jr., Indiana Jones franchise. I-T-H-I-C, meaning stone. The original teacher crush, Dr. Indiana Jones has had college girls swooning over him since his first appearance on screen. Roguishly handsome and with a gruff kind of charm, his extensive knowledge of archaeology and the history surrounding it showed off his education and passion for the subject. The sun shone through here and made a beam that came down on the floor here and gave you the exact location of the Well of the Souls. Add his impressive record of escaping Nazis and stealing ancient artifacts for the military to his role as a drool-worthy professor, and you've got yourself a recipe for a man that everybody wants to get their hands on. We do not follow maps to buried treasure, and X never, ever marks the spot. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Come on, man, kind of class. It's not you. Appreciate the observation. I take it of all read the Huxley novel that I signed more than three weeks ago. All right, study you maniacs. Remember, Saturday's fall tryouts for next spring's JV baseball. Number one, Dan Dunn, Half Nelson. The kids keep me focused. Is it even possible for Ryan Gosling to not be attractive? Though struggling with a drug addiction and the pressures of working in an inner city school with difficult students, the charm and sense of humor that Dunn oozes are impossible to deny. Let's give you some examples, okay, of opposing forces. With his passion for teaching giving him a lifeline when it comes to his bad habits, the way Dunn looks out for his students only adds to his scruffy appeal. I hate to be this guy right now, right? Mm -hmm. But I need you to stay away from Dre. Excuse me? Though he has his flaws, his signature crooked grin and dulcet voice makes it possible to almost overlook that little addiction. Almost. How are you? The same old, same old. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.